these two people that I can see in the distance, they are naked. As you can tell by my face, I'm pretty gassed. And this is why the bike that I've been waiting about three months to arrive has finally arrived. Look at it. She's a beauty. At the moment, it's got these thin road tyres on for a bit more speed when I'm on the tarmac. But it actually came with these bad boys. They're like thicker off-road and on-road tyres. I'll probably have these on most of the time. I'm just an extra and I wanted the extra wheels for different weather conditions. Like I'm a pro cyclist already or something. I don't know where the obsession with cycling came from. I think it was because I was locked in during lockdown at the beginning. I just wanted to get in something. So I thought a bike would be perfect. And then, well, it took three months for the bike to come. So then in that three months, I was just doing loads of research and became obsessed with it, so... Bike bike. Yeah, now I'm, I'm going to take part in the Tour de France 2021. <laughs> I'm f***ed. <laughs> I'm not going to bore you too much about the bike because a lot of you won't be that interested, but there's one thing I do want to talk about, and that is this company called Quadlock. So basically, I needed a way to attach my phone to my handlebars so I can track my, my speed, my distance, and all, all my data whilst I'm cycling. So basically, I need that on there and even like gps so i can work out where i'm going and go to destinations which i'm not sure how to get to so quadlock kindly sent me their out front pro mount kit so that i could do this effortlessly so they sent a phone case with a little mounting thing on the back sleek mate sleek and then here's the out front mount and then all you do is simply push down and twist bam we're in look at that I don't think there's a better looking mount out there. This is just beautiful. And there we go, I'm all set. Ready for action. No, but in all seriousness, I actually, I'm buzzing with the, with the item. Um, I took it out the other day on a, like an off-road session. I was going down this mad, bumpy, off-road hill to the point where my arms were like snapping because of vibration and the mount was just bam, 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 dealt with it easily. It was sick. Oh yeah, and to take it off, it's even easier. You just push down slightly on that little thing and twist. Push down, twist, gone. Easy as that. It's so simple, but the quality is up there. And they also sent me this little clear case to put over your phone for like wet conditions or muddy conditions. You just can't go wrong with these guys. The top. Make sure you check them out. Thanks quite a lot. The whole Black Lives Matter thing seems to have gone a little bit more quiet than it was a couple of weeks ago. I encourage every single one of you watching right now, make a sign, bang it in your window. It's funny how many thank you NHS signs we see about all the rainbows in every, pretty much every single window. So why can't we all do the same for Black Lives Matter? This was Kit's idea as well, so pick up Kit. Boom, let's see if we can start a thing. There's probably about 200,000 signs NHS signs in the UK. Let's try and big no, up the- You don't have to take them down though. No, no, don't take them down. It's just all about support and everything. How can you support one thing and not the other? People be watching this right now thinking you've put it on the wrong way. <laughs> this writing on both sides. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't worry. And also I've just realized anyone that sees that sign now outside knows this is where we live. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just there. This wide angle lens is not doing me any favors. Right, so I've jumped in the car for two reasons. Number one being, I'm gonna go out and get a few bits for Kate for our anniversary. Four years with that woman. Uh, and reason two is I'm here to tell you a little bit of a story that happened to me a couple of weeks ago. As you all know, I'm obsessed with cycling. I love it. I was out on my bike ride. It was midweek. It was about 6 p.m. I was bombing down the road, quitting through villages, and I came to a country park. I'll go through the country park. By this point, I'm sweating. The adrenaline's pumping. I'm flying down a trail. Twigs snapping past my face. There's dirt flicking off my back wheel. I'm loving life. I'm flying down this trail. In the distance, I see two tall pale figures i'm thinking why are they both wearing all beige in a muddy forest that is bait you might get a few stains you might catch your heel on your trousers you don't want that as i get a bit closer i start to see human bodily features for example bum cheeks hairy crack ball bag between legs yeah i'm seeing things like that these two people that i can see in the distance they are naked what the fuck are they doing them two blokes do you really think I'm riding down there? What the f I slam my brakes on. I'm thinking, whoa, what's going off here then? Why are these two blokes walking around naked? Genitalia flopping around. That is wrong. There's kids in this park. There's families. There's old people. What the f That is some mad, disgusting shit. You should not be doing that. And I, I do get there's people out there that are called, is it naturists? Where they're just free and they're just, you know, barefoot gonads are out they live their life in kind of like a free way but not in a country park you can't have no bike out in the country park not one not two none i'm stood there and i'm thinking what do i do i'm actually kind of panicking because there's, there's two naked blokes they could be out here to you know what i mean this is deep like they, i don't even want to say what they could be doing they could be trying to oh man it's 
wrong. Luckily, they're walking away from me. So they didn't even know that I was there. So I let them go, let them keep walking for another 15 minutes. And then two lads come up behind me and I'm like, yo, have you ever seen two naked people walk around this forest? And they're like, yeah, they was here yesterday doing it. They're regulars. They do it on a reg. <laughs> oh, me. Naked in a country park. This house is around the edge. They're doing it regular. Wrong, man. I carry on pedaling. I don't see them. I get out of the forest. I'm chuffed. I escaped. You should have seen the way I was ramping through that forest. I was pedaling like a lunatic. And that's story over. I guess I should go and get Kit's anniversary present now. If you want to hear more stories like that, make sure you subscribe to the Donuts podcast. Weekly episodes. You get to see a side of me that you don't really see on this channel. We talk deeper, emotional banter we argue we debate yeah it goes off the donuts podcast that's where it's at subscribe like share the love respect over and out